Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit that notification bell. Gilly updates. Really excited for today's video. Um, it is the second uh, Hot Butcher Stout that I've had, um, or will have. I haven't had it yet. Um, really like the last one a lot, that peanut butter cup one. Um, and, uh, I mean, obviously, I've, I tend to like their beer, um, and I'm definitely a big fan of hoppy beers, but I do love everything about this. Uh, it's called, called Dark Black. It's an imperial stout brew with maple syrup and sea salt, 10.5% ABV, and as court, of course, uh, you know, Dan Jetsa is just crushing it with the canar. I love that. It's got, it's like reminiscent of a couple other beer like labels, like almost like a, a, like the skull, a little bit of that Jules one. You got, there was an octopus. I'm forgetting some of the names. The lightning bolts I've seen in at least one. Um, so it's kind of, I don't know if that was on purpose. It's got like, not a comp, not full on compilation of like designs of his, but it's definitely like in his style. It's just super red. Like even like the two eyes are different. I don't know. It's just, it's really cool. Um, they're giving notes of sweet, sweet maple, sea salt, and rich cocoa. It's about what I would think uh, based on the adjuncts. Um, for people who don't know, I'm a maple fiend. Uh, I used to help my great-grandfather collect maple sap and then boil it in his sugar shack into maple syrup. Good thing I had this paper towel handy. Um, oh my God, I'm getting so much maple already. Wow. I feel like when I film up here because I have the computer screen and sorry Bruno did I scare you um yeah Bruno's being shy and didn't want to be on the bed um I feel like I turn into more of a ham like hey there's an audience and I should make myself laugh I don't know it's weird I don't feel this urge as much when I'm by myself in the basement um with the camera on my phone this the reason it came up a little bit this is the most filled can I've ever seen. Uh, actually, maybe take a picture of it so people on my... If you look at my Instagram, you can see, like... Get that out of the way. We'll see what I'm talking about. That maple is freaking nuts. Um, I actually have to drink a little bit out of a can just to be able to pour this. Oh, baby. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Mm. So I mentioned it, and I don't remember what video. Oh, no, Daddy. Yes, I do. The unboxing video I did of this, the most recent one. This is actually from um, two boxes ago. It's the last beer from that box. And um, I was about to leave to go celebrate my grandparents' 60th anniversary. And... I put, put together some beers to bring them. And then I got another can of this in that box. So I'm like, I ended up bringing this as well uh, to give them. Uh, and yes, my grandparents will devour a 10 and a half stout uh, with maple syrup. It's the same side of my family with my great grandfather who would make maple syrup. I can already tell that sip I took from the can to be able to pour it. I can already tell that they're gonna freak out about this. We didn't open it when we were together, but um. They're going to freak out. They're going to freak the F out. All right, let's get into it. As you can see, you know, I was talking for a little while, kind of letting the head go down too, but, you know, a little family story time. Um, we got, I mean, it's still a finger and a half. It was probably at least two fingers when I poured it. Um, hey, there's me in the reflection. See, ham coming out. Uh, it's dark. I mean, you name your beer dark black. Uh, it better be pretty darn black. And this, this is, um, totally, uh, yeah, I mean, so I just put it in, I have the lights pointing away from me, long story. And like when the light is like exactly shining on it, it's a very dark brown color, but you'd have to like have a light on it. It's, it's a dark black beer. That head is, you got small bubbles, you got tea time bubbles, you got small bubbles, not quite approaching medium yet as they're breaking up. I mean, you're seeing, you know, some lacing on the side of glass. There's some there's ooh, nice legs on it. Um, the head itself is, in terms of color, 
I'm going to say a mocha color. Yeah, definitely a mocha color. Let's get to a proper aroma. I mean, it's it's so much... It's, um, it's maple candy. Like, if you've ever had that, um, where you, you boil it down and it's, like, maple sugar... And like you can like sometimes you see it's like in the shape of a maple leaf or whatever that that's the universal maple leaf maple leaf hand gesture if you didn't know that um and uh it's it's like that and actually despite uh, or besides it looking like the head anyway looking like mocha you it's like a, a mocha why is this taking me so long to say i know exactly what it is Take a mocha, so you got your, your hot chocolate, you got some coffee in it, although it's not super roasty. I'll get to that. I got to smell it again. But it has enough that I'm going to say mocha. And then to further sweeten it, you're, you put in that maple syrup candy. That's just sugar at that point. That's really what this is. Yeah, I mean, the... I think it's okay to mention coffee, but it, I mean, it is chocolate. It's chocolate and maple. Like that, I mean, that's really all it is. And, and it's making me think vanilla. I don't, I don't think it really, I know it doesn't have vanilla in it, but it's, um, I think that sweetness with the chocolate, like how you have like a vanilla twist or vanilla and chocolate twist ice cream, it's like that. But it, it's it's maple. You know, I'm like, oh, Jesus Louise, it's just. <laughs> is it a complex aroma? No, and it's the same thing I was saying when I did the peanut butter one, which I'm sorry, the name escapes me. It, it has a bear on it. it. Might just be called Bear the Bear or something. Um, it was delicious, but like in terms of like, is it a complex beer? No, but we can have that conversation after I get a proper taste. Cheers. I had a really busy day. Not like in a bad way, just a very busy day. So I'm filming this way later than I normally do. Uh, as you'll notice, usually there, if I film up here, there's like the sun's coming up through or coming through that back window. But the sun's been down. And uh, uh, I was like, ah, should I should I open a 10.5? I don't typically drink this late. And I was like, I just want this beer so bad. And it is delivering. It is delivering so much. Um it's like the other one though it is it's maple it is chocolate you do get a little bit of that coffee rose so i'm glad i said mocha and the aroma but it's it's not super it's like if you made a mocha and you 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 want it sweet so you mostly put in hot chocolate but you did put a little bit of coffee and then again you put that maple syrup in there last summer i had uh, we went to like a food truck not convention but like uh they were raising money for something locally and they just they had a bunch of food trucks and like you know you, you paid the admission the admission was the donation and then you just went to the food trucks and ordered whatever you wanted they had other vendors there one of the places had uh, maple cotton candy and it's it's that intense and again so i keep going to the the maple the the um when you keep boiling it and you make a sugar out of it or you make you sugar fry it into a cotton candy it's that intense of a sweet maple syrup. It's not, it, it transcends just maple syrup on pancakes. That's there, obviously, but it's it's a concentrated version. So that's why I keep talking about these sugar, uh, uh, confectionery sugar versions of it. Not confectionery, just sugar versions of it. Um, it. It's exactly what it says it is. It is, delicious isn't a strong enough word, Um I don't know how good of a review this is going to be to people. It, again, it's not complex. It, it's not there's not a bunch of things going on, but it is hitting the few notes it's supposed to. I mean, it's out of the park. Found another park the next city over, and somehow went beyond that park. Like that is how good this beer is. Um, if my grandparents weren't three and a half hours from me i might say hey you know what when you're gonna open that can text me and i'll come and i'll split it with you guys like it's that good
there is that coffee roast. I, I'm glad I can at least uh, contribute that to this conversation since it is just very much the adjuncts that are in this beer. In terms of the sea salt, speaking of adjuncts, it's probably helping the flavors pop like they are, but I don't get a, a, a saltiness. It's not like doing like a goza or something. Um, but yeah, this this is this is stupid good. As much as my wife hates stouts, she likes maple. She'd probably like to smell this beer. I don't know if she'd like the taste of it, but if, the reason I'm filming up here is because she's working right now. Um, so I'm not going to give her any, obviously. But anyway, I'm rambling. I think I've said about 30 seconds worth of worthwhile content. Uh, if, if you want to watch just one part of the review and get my thoughts, this beer is stupid delicious. Uh, it's not complex, but it's exactly what it says it is. It's exactly what this beer is supposed to be. Um, it is desserty. It is pastry. It is, you know, for a guy who is all sweet teeth, it, it is it is not too sweet, but it is very sweet. It is all the maple uh, uh, sugar candies that you can fathom. That's this beer. I'm freaking in love with it. Um, yeah, thanks for sending a hot butcher. Uh, I want to make sure I acknowledge that they sent this to me. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Check me out on Instagram and on Tap. It's no high beer reviews at both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.